Hello, it's Jay again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in the last video we was filling out these voids, but we skipped over one. And that was the update calendar month, and that's because there's going to be a lot of code for this void. So, with that said, let's begin by coming inside that function. And we're going to start with an if, open brackets, uh, we want underscore, and it's actually January that we want, so we'll say double equals true. Double and, and then we're going to say calendar days is greater than 31. Now we'll close brackets, we'll open and close. So this line is fairly simple. Paul, if we are in January and calendar days is greater than 31, so let's put that in the comments. If we are in January and calendar days is greater than 31, and let's come inside. Then what we want to do is set January to false because there are only 31 days in that month. So we want to go to the next month. So we begin by setting January to false. So let's put that in the comments. Then set January to false. We need to set the next month to true. Again, close the line off into the comments. And set February to true. And we'll come to the next line. And calendar days. And we want to reset that back to the first of the month. So equals zero, close the line off. Add into the comments. And we'll say and make calendar days equal one. I'll put in brackets first of the new month. In fact, yeah, we can say of February. And then we'll come here. So we're okay when we hit 31, but when we try to go to day 32, i.e. greater than 31, well, January's only got 31 days, not 32, so we'll set January to false. We'll set the next month, February, to true, and we set to the 1st of February. And this block of code can be repeated for all the other months, and obviously you'll need to change out the variables for which, how many number of days are in that particular month, and the naming conventions for these three here. Apart from the next month of February, because, as you know, we have a leap year function. So, in order for that to work, we need two if blocks for February, so we'll say if open brackets and we'll say leap year counter double equals four and February double equal true double and again calendar days is greater than 29 so we're dealing with the leap year itself here so let's get that into the comments we'll say if leap year counter is true and in fact let's break up this line a little bit let's I'll enter there, we'll cut the comment and paste it back in here, 
just to keep everything nice and neat. Let's open and close brackets there as well. And we'll get the comments in. And we are in February and calendar days is greater than 29. And now we'll come inside that function. And we can actually copy these three lines here. So let's paste that in. And obviously we need to change out the variables. So this time we're setting February to false. Let's do that in the comment as well. Here we want to set to the next month of March. So we'll set March to true. And we'll paste that in there. So, and of course we need to still set to the first of the month. And in fact, we should change the comment here as well. So let's copy this if block again. We'll paste it in below. And this time we'll say 28. And we'll change this to 28. And where are we here? We need to change that to a less than symbol. So if leap year counter is, and we'll change the comment, less than four, then we're fine. We've changed the number here to 28, and we still need to do the same with these three lines here. So let's come below here. And we'll copy in the January blow block. And you can do this for all the other months now. It's just copy in the January block and just change the variables. So the first variable is this one here. So if we are in March and calendar days, yes, yeah, 31 days is still in March. And we change this here. So this time we set March to false. And it's the next month for long, so April. And we set April to true now, and calendar days still needs to be set at one. Let's just save that off there. Now we need to do this for all the other months, but I'm actually going to leave it here for this video because I think you're all capable now of just copying the block. As I said, the only tricky one is February. We don't have to worry about that now. For the other months, you just copy, in this case, either the January or the March block and just change out the variables that need to be changed. If I do it for all months, it's going to make for a very long and boring video, I think. So I think we'll leave it here. Obviously, you uh, can change out all these for yourself. So I hope this is okay for you to leave it here. Um, but as I said, we'll um, continue on in the next video. There's still uh, quite a lot to do in this script. So uh, hopefully I should be back soon. And until then, as always, bye for now.